Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm the CTO and product lead of Actor. Um, and you're watching our first installment of What's New and the AMA, um, a roughly monthly video call in which we offer the community to show the latest stuff that happened, an ongoing effort to, to show what's going on um, and to have an, an open section for, for answers and questions. Now, unfortunately, I'm currently cutting that material for the publication and um, the the recording itself was made through Zoom and unfortunately the video quality is not up for um, for that. So I decided to, uh, after after this introduction, which I also forgot to do in the recording, so sorry about that, um, we will directly jump to a, a demo I had prepared earlier for the case that the demo gods might not have been that uh, happy with us, which has a higher quality. Um, and shows the same updates feature as well as the events feature that I'm also showing in the video at the beginning on the live recording. Um, so I'm going to put that in there. After that, you're going to jump into the actual recording um, and you will see that why, why I made that choice because the quality is just not up to good. Uh, there's unfortunately still other stuff that I'm also showing afterwards. So um, in case you want to jump right to these positions, I'm going to going to give you a, a quick stop here right now for um, the position when the actual recording starts. Now you're going to see a timestamp for when I'm showing the other stuff that is not in the pre-recorded pre, pre demo. And now I'm also showing you the timestamp for the AMA if you're only interested in the um, AMA question section that we did after. Um, that's it from my side. Thank you very much for joining. All right, welcome everyone to this uh, demo about the latest actor updates, features and events. Um, I want to briefly walk you through what these uh, are and how they work. Uh, above me you can see uh, the Linux version with uh, Jackie who's uh, an organizer of the Kiki's Climate Action Group. This is completely made up, that doesn't exist. Um, and on that side you see the Android uh, emulator running James's account, who is a member of that same Kikis Action Group. And um, they are planning a protest. So in order to get the most eyes on that idea, uh, we want to have that as an event on our system. Now we have redone the entire event system here uh, with several minor but useful updates. Um, at Kikis uh, major, Mayor's office. Uh, you will notice one of the things is that this beautiful um, date selector has updated. You can also just directly enter the date if you want. Um, that is on the 29th, we said. And, oh no, no well, the, let's take the 29th. And you see the end date is automatically set unless we pick a different one. It starts at 3 p.m. and this is also selected as automatically until going to 4 we're gonna have this go until 6 p.m. okay uh, and ask for climate action now one thing you will notice in here that is um, if I select something you have this new nice little highlighting thingy that allows you to um, have a prettier, um, uh, to prettify this text. So for example, we can make this a, uh, a big, big thing. We can have this as bold and this underlined. We can even add links here. So for example, for mayor's office, it make, would make sense to maybe link that up to um, some location where this can be found or looked up. We don't need to do that right now. We are going to select our action group for this and we submit this event. And you see, there it is. Um, and over here, I have to scroll down, you see it showed up on um, the other user members. Um, automatically, as, a, as an organizer, I am marked as I am going. Um, as a member, I have not selected that yet. You also see that this entire section has been redone. Um, on the top here, we will add the feature to allow you to create a, a, a big, nice picture so that it makes it nicer to um, 
uh, indicators. You also saw that the list itself has updated, um, being much more precise, much more, much cleaner in, in the way that this is now uh, presented in lists. Um, so that's the first part. We have, have run a lot on the events. Um, we're go to, going to do a lot more about events. We want to have active location um, selection soon and um, similar features. But one more important thing that we did, and that is um, highly important to uh, especially these kind of kind of activities, we now want to boost that information. Like we don't want to say like, hey, there's an event you can join. We want to say like, hey, this is an important event. Join this. For this, we have a completely new updates generator and editor now. You can see here when I say I want to make a new update as an organizer, I get to select which kind of slide I want to do. Yes, actions uh, updates can now have multiple slides, which is very useful so that you can have one slide starting out and then you can offer more information that people can walk through, through, through um, click through. We will start with some uh, um, information we have uh, pre-generated in a Canva or something you can see here. Now we have this really nice um, a poster feature, you can see that it's directly in there, not like this weird thing on the side. We can uh, change the background color to fit a little better. We're going to use the screen. Um, this is being used if the information, like because you see already here, we have two different screen sizes, um, how this information is presented so that you can always see everything, but it also matches um, the information. As mentioned before, we can have multiple um, slides in here. We even have support for video. I'm just going to show that real quick, but we're not actually going to use that. Why is it not coming up? That's a new feature. It probably takes a moment. No, yeah, no, I'm seeing that um, this is a bug in my <laughs> in my local build. I'm sorry. Uh, so generally, you have a uh, uh, feature uh, ability to do videos as well. We want to have um, more text, so we can offer um, a more input. Let's go to the protest. Are uh, you coming RSVP? Now, that as well is uh, using the same editor that we just um, showed, uh, that I just showed you earlier. So you can use that same uh, set of features here. We're going to make this uh, a little more visually appealing, like that, and then like this. Or maybe like in the RSVP would be three. And let's take a different background color because this is a little it's a little ugly, I'd say. And not that Yeah, that's that's good. Now we have two slides. This is the starting slide and this is the, the second slide. Um, where we have some information on here. Uh, but and we want to send that to the Kikis group of course. But we um, also actually want to give you a chance to directly interact with the event. So we now have a new action widget. Action widgets are a ability for the update to contain um, direct direct links to other objects in the in the actor ecosystem. So that when people f scroll through just to get updated on the most important thing, you can directly move them. It's a call to action if you're if you're aware of that kind of technology. So in this case, we can say like, hey, we have an event and we want to include that event information right in our post. So we have this protest at the Kiki's mayor's office and you see here that it's going to be um, connected on the bottom. This is per slide, which also means that we can have different ones or different slides. We're going to use the same one on both slides so that it's easiest to use. And once we're ready with everything, and I think we are, we can post that slide. And you might notice that something happened on the left side, um, and that is that is one of the most exciting things about this. This new feature comes with push notifications. So this um, this update we just sent um, is not only updated right in my screen and the other user's screen, but also sent out as a push notification unless the user disabled that on iOS and mobile devices. And you directly see like it's an actor, but you see the uh, action group. We have the icon of the of the group, the space that this, this is being followed. And if we have uh, an image as the first slide, you can see the image right in the previous one. This allows the user to directly get that information quickly and at a glance. Um, in the visual manner that you have. Unfortunately, over here, <laughs> this is a square. This is this how Android does it. Um, but we can click it. Of course, we, we see that update. 
And now you also see what the background is about because different sizes have different um, paddings we have. So this one has a green background. I have multiple slides that I can click through. And I have a direct link to the, um, the event that is in the actor space itself. I can click it and I'm right there. I'm right at the same event. I can go back and I'm back at the, the object. Isn't that, a, isn't that amazing? Of course, I like what happened here. So I'm going to double tap it. And you see that, hey, this, this updated. Um, over here, we, we see one other bug where it doesn't always load the right image correctly on Linux. That is a Linux specific bug, but now you can see it. And you see it has been liked if I like it on this side as well. You see the like updates here as well. So we have two more interactive items added to our um, completely redone um, action process over here. Uh, updates, updates actions over here. Um, allowing to people to directly go into the action and say, yeah, of course I'm going. Of course I'm going. And um, other, other organizations, uh, other organizers can directly see it. Um, all of that combined with a new um, update, update generator, editor, as well as the predefined events UI. Um, that's the main thing I wanted to show you. Thank you very much. Talk to you next time. This hopefully works. Okay, does that work? You can see my desktop actor here and you can see... Yes. All right, awesome. Okay, so... What you see here is the latest version of uh, Actor. One is the desktop and you can see also my mouse. Perfect, okay, cool. Um, locked in uh, is uh, on the top. You have Jackie and on the um, Android emulator here, we have uh, James. Both are part of the Kikis Climate Action Group, which is a totally made up group um, that I'm using for testing and for showing stuff. And they are planning a protest, as you can see here in the latest news that is already shown at the end of the month. Um, and so there's a few things I want to show you today that have been uh, already released. And then I'm going to also show you a few things that are currently in the works and will be released um, later this week. What you see here is um, at this point is all in the latest uh, release on the Google Play Store or the iOS um, App Store, if you're using any of those and have auto updates on, this should be already working. So as Jackie, as the organizer of the group, um, in order to finish um, the last remaining stuff for the protest that is happening at the end of the month, um, we want to do another meeting. Um, uh, one last meeting for um, for the um, for for the organizers to finish everything that needs to be done for the protest. Uh, for that, we have changed the entire layout of events. Um, first off, the the event editor itself, as you can see here, if you have already used it. Um, we have changed the entire calendar um, feature in in terms of you can directly switch to the date now. You can um, switch the date as usual in in the um, UI. I think I said it was the 20th that I'm picking this. Um, and you will see that one annoying bug we had is when you forgot then to set an end date that it would always uh, tell you like, hey, the end date isn't before the as before the start date. This is now fixed. You can see here it's automatically selecting the same time, uh, the same date. And if you pick a time, it will select automatically an end time an hour after as well. Um, now we want to do the um, protest organizers meeting. Let's meet. of the protest. Um, another thing we changed is that you, if I collect, select stuff here now, you can see this uh, little bar comes up. This entire field is now a um, WYSIWYG editor. So you can, you can um, highlight things in there. You can make it look pretty. You can even set links um, to, uh, to different things, um, which we're not going to do now. But uh, I don't see my own button here. There we go. Um, it have now created an event. You already saw the slide flash on the um, Android version. If I scroll down, we have the protest. And now we also have the organizers meeting happen. Um, as you can see on the on the desktop version, it got me right to there. You also see that both of these have been gotten uh, completely new UIs that are a lot cleaner. 
on the um, Android, you can see that the list features the date more prominently. It's a lot easier to understand when is that happening. You can directly see that this is currently something you haven't responded to, but some other thing you have already responded to. Um, and one thing we, we will be adding that is not yet in here is the option to um, allow you to set a, a nice picture as well on the top so that you can have like a landscape thing to, to showcase this, um, to make it more look prettier. And as you can see in the bottom here, um, the, the text has this, this markup that we have um, in here. Now, when we do such an event, this is uh, important, but we might want to boost that information. We want to really make sure that everybody in the group knows about this. For this, we have the updates feature, the announcements um, you might remember. And one thing we did um, that is in the last release, but that uh, we have been working on over a couple, couple of weeks is a completely new editor for these updates. Um, as you can see here, if I start a new update, it asks me what kind of slide I want to do, because that is one of the main features that this new thing has. It can have per action item, we can have multiple slides. So we're going to start out with an image slide. I'm going to use an image that I have prepared. That is the call for the meeting. There we go. Um, so this, this picks the image itself. You can see on the bottom here, we have uh, the possibility to have multiple slides. We can add more slides. We have the image that I've created previously in Canvas uh, in Canva, and you can use any image you like. Uh, you can change the background color because the information on the image is very important, um, but we have different sizes of screens to deal with. So there's always going to be some gaps. So we don't want to cut it off. It's not like some other apps do, but gives you the option to say, hey, um, we show it in full and there's just going to be some background background color. Uh, now we're going to, um, if you if you want to create another slide next to it, so there's things that people can, uh, they see the first slide and then they can um, swipe through them. Uh, you can see here, we also have support for video, but I need a, another text slide. Where's my text? Where's my text? That I have pre-prepared. You can see we have copy paste here as well. We have the same type of editor that allows you to do some simple but useful uh, um, WYSIWYG editing. We also pick another color here. I'm, I want something more bold. Let's go for, ah, that looks good. Okay, perfect. It's exactly how I want this. And we also want to highlight the organizers meeting here. Uh, all right. Now this is already uh, great and that is already something that we, we had previously. Um, but what we added here, and this is what is really exciting in my opinion, is the new call to actions widgets. You can now add widgets to the update itself. So in this particular case, what I want to do is I want to link this directly to the event with an actor, right? So you can already see here on the bottom, we have this selected now to this to this slide. When people look at this slide, they will also see this this um, this link to the to the object. Um, I'm going to add that to both of my slides. I could could have different ones on different slides. I can have one per slide. All right, all good to go. I have uh, a good a good way. Oh, I'm just seeing that I picked the wrong time. Ah, it doesn't really matter for this example. All right, posting the posting the issue. And uh, this is a little overlaying here, but as you can see here, um, the uh, message already got through and we got a push notification about this, um, about this action right to the other group members. You can see here it's actor, um, but it's also specifically showing the group. We can see the image of the, the avatar of the group. I'm not sure why it's only showing half of that. That is new. Um, and if I open this and we have an image picture um, as the first slide, I can even already see that that slide. Um, and clicking this, of course, gets me gets me right there. And then you can also see, like first off, I can slide through these. You can see this slide on the bottom. Um, I can have more information. We sometimes have slides that have like the change logs and that kind of stuff. So in further further gives me more information, but I also can directly see the the event that is linked to this. And I can click on it and it gets me right into the link, uh, into the object itself. And I can say, hey, I'm going. And I can go back. And it even updated the widget itself saying like, hey, you said you're going. Um, so this is, this is 
in my opinion, very exciting because it really um, makes makes that point that we want to do is like these updates allow you to easily um, engage. You don't actually have to search now for all of that um, in the system. You can say like, hey, I, I know this. And of course, in my, my home bar, it also shows it as I'm, I'm going now. I showed all of that, showed all of that, showed the push notifications. Yeah, that is that is uh, the the main update um, we did on on the existing release. Um, there's two more things I'd like to show you that are uh, currently in development, but already working on my machine and will be part of the next um, or three things actually. I noticed will be part of the next release as well. Um, number one. Oh, it's already giving it away. Um, there's a new way for you to organize chats now um, that is expanding on the, on the, um, we're currently still fixing a little bit on this UI, but roughly it's about this. When you search for a chat, you can also directly filter them now. So you can filter uh, either all, or you can filter that you only want to see DMs, um, so direct messages. And this is going to be sticky. So when you, when you leave the chat and you leave the app and you come back to the app, you will see that it says DMs on the top and it will, will stick out this. Uh, another option that exists, if you're already using uh, another matrix client, you might know that as favoriting, you can um, bookmark chats now and you can filter only your bookmark chats. So if you have a little bit very busy set of things, you can go into your in the chats that matter to you, um, go to the chat profile and click this button so that they get bookmarked and then you can only see the bookmarked ones. Um, which is also coming from this perspective again, something we fixed a little bit on the um, on the push notifications while we were on it in the um, in the actions. Uh, if James now gets a notification from Jackie, uh, the push notification in Active in uh, Android specifically has been improved, has been improved a lot. So you see, this is Actor. You see that Jackie sent something, and if you open it, you, you get the avatar now. And if that is a group conversation, you see that this is Jackie, and if there were other people, it would be grouped by by these particular people as well. Bookmark a check, check the lessons, did that. All right, pin, pin attachments. That is um, also very exciting um, and something we have been asked for for a while. Um, we have done some updates on pins and we're still ongoing on updates on pins. Uh, the first one is that pins now show up in the quick jump and you can also search search them in the, big, uh, in the quick jump, as you can see here. Um, and you can have attachments on your pins now. So uh, we have redone as well here the entire editor. And if we go back to the entire pins list, use the thing here. You can see already the preview in here. We have the, the preview of the text if there's a short text. And you can see that there's pins attached to this particular one. Um, you can add any more other um, pins that you that you want to want to add it to this. We can add this one as well and have them uh, in the pin as well. Um, any type of file is allowed. You can click on it to upload, to download it. We're currently working on uh, automatic previews so that if there is an image, you can preview it right in Actor and don't have to download it and see it with another app. And that are all the visible things I would like to show you today. Um, yeah. So as mentioned, as, as a recap, we have uh, redone the entire events, uh, event editor, as well as viewing events. Um, we have updated the um, the updates to contain action items, but also the entire editor. It's a lot smoother now. It's a WYSIWYG editor now to allow you to see um, nicely what the what this is going to look like as well. Um, there we go. Uh, going to look like as well, uh, right from the editor. Um, we have added the first action item. And of course, there's the plan to have more 
uh, actions available. For example, allow you to use the act, the update to announce a new chat or another new space that people now can join from within your space. That's a little just a little more complicated because of permission issues. Um, if you want to pronounce a um, a pin or what any other object, could there be I don't know task lists because these are the important things that still need to done need need to get done and you need people's eyes on them uh, would all be part of that. The push notifications for for these updates um, they are on by default on iOS and on Android. Um, you can disable them of course if you don't want to be annoyed by that. Um, and then upcoming the chat selection, bookmarking of chats, and attachments to pins. And that is what I wanted to show you today. Um, I'm going to go back here. All right, cool. I did not see any interrupting questions. Um, are there any questions on the specifics you just saw? Do you have anything you want to ask about this? Whether I should switch back to something. That seems to be a no. Are there any other questions? Um, otherwise, I have a few, and of course, I can um, take those first. But I'm here to answer questions. So if you have any. I just your hand or just talk? From <clears throat> from uh, Aisha is that uh, yeah or that can you hear me yeah oh. okay uh no as you said from uh, from Aisha she wrote me in uh, just a separate note that uh, they're currently planning event but uh, yeah I'd love to get the recording um just uh, wanted to to share that that's why she had to jump off but she would appreciate it oh, okay. sure no worries if there aren't any specific questions here right now. I'm happy to answer a few that were uh, sent to me. So one about was uh, what else we expect from pin attachments. Um, so I already mentioned that there will be previews, of course, um, for, for inline data like uh, images and videos. Um, and then, of course, you can always download them um, locally. Um, then there was the question given to me whether uh, the bookmarks we have for chat will, will also be available for other things. Uh, excuse me. And yes, there, there will be. Um, it's just a different mechanism than what currently is being used for, for, uh, for chats, where we use something that Matrix already has. And for the other things, we are still working on building that ourselves. But the idea is that if you're part of many groups and spaces, you basically can bookmark any type of object. You can say, I bookmark this event or I bookmark um, this um, this space. And then uh, these things would, in the listing where they exist, get more highlighted as well as give you one list where you have all of the bookmarks available, similar to, I don't know, you have it on TikTok or, or Instagram. Um, last but not least, one question um, that came up and I want to address is about recurring events. Um, we currently do not have support for recurring events. Recurring events means I set an event once and will happen, I don't know, for example, every four weeks or every week. Um, and the reason is not only that this is technically a little harder than just having single events, of course, it's also that product-wise, we're not yet sure how we should understand this. Um, because in a professional context, that makes a lot of sense. Every Monday, there's this particular meeting and basically everyone is expected to show up. But in more volunteer environments, you know that even for the regular once a month meeting of the entire group, rarely the same people show up. So if you have a recurring event, does that mean people should still like say yes to each instance of that recurrence? Probably because that gives you the actual information of who's gonna show up. Um, so the way that we currently think about this is less of a actual recurring event and more of a potentially way to say this event happened and I can I can duplicate this as a future event. So rather than having to rewrite everything every time, once the event happened or even while it's still ongoing, you can you can um, say, hey, take this as a template for a new event and then you just change change the date. Um, but it's its own own instance and we might mark them as a series or something like that. 
Um, if anybody has any input on that, any thoughts on this, um, maybe use this meetup.com, which has a hybrid th system in between where you have recurring events, but you still have to like assign and say RSVP to each one individually. Um, very, very happy to hear about that. Um, and that's all I got. Any other questions? I don't or comments or anything else. Yeah, 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 thanks. Maybe, how about that? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. It was a pleasure. I'm happy it worked. The, the, the demo <laughs> gods were with us today. Um, I had a proper, I had a proper uh, like you saw the, the actual um, demo announcement. Um, I tried all of that and have a recording in case it failed, but it, it did work. So, yay. All right, I forgot one thing. The, the 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 name of this event itself. So what's new and AMA is something we want to offer um, roughly once a month. We do uh, a bigger blog post that describes um, everything that happened. We're still doing a weekly release because there's there's still bugs and we want to don't want to have people hang out on old bugs for a very long time. So we we're still releasing on a Thursday every Thursday cycle. However, um, once a month we're creating this blog post where we describe a little better of like everything that happened and everything you should really need to know um, um, like I did uh, this month and the week after. So that's the idea. We would be offering this format where I would walk through or someone else later uh, would walk through um, these updates as a casual way of, of getting that. But also if you've seen the blog post and you have questions as a way to ask questions nicely um, and easily. So just so that you know, Probably, yeah, probably Wednesdays. But <laughs> also changing the time zones so we can offer like right. different time zones for different people. Yeah, maybe maybe also in addition, when you like can't wait for this session, you're running into some, some error or there's whatever, you need some explanation of a certain feature or whatever comes up, um, we're always available in the actor space on the actor app. Um, there's also especially uh, a chat called support. Um, so yeah, with anything you're like, I don't know, you're struggling with, um, just post it and we will be there for, for you. It's almost like 24 seven, almost, <laughs> but, um, yeah, email is doing the weekends. Right. We can um, uh, if there's no other questions, I would stop the recording.